In PowerDirector 18, we're going to teach you about the AI style, basically turning your video into works of art, as you can see here as it comes across the screen. Kind of gives it a waxy look. I'm going to show you how to do it with a complete video. I'm also going to show you how to do it where you can actually cut and slice your video to achieve this effect. So let's get into it. In PowerDirector 18, I'm going to teach you how to do an AI plugin. As Cyberlink says, make works of art with your videos. Notice up here to the left, when we go in, you got the disc here. This is the media room. What we're concerned with is the puzzle. So if we click the puzzle, we get plugins. And we're going to go to AI style plugin is what we're going to do. So when I go in there and I click AI style plugin, it's going to load the plugins that we can use for PowerDirector 18. And you've got a few you can use here, I mean, and you can play around with them. So what you're going to do is select one that you maybe like. And then down here is where you can import from the hard drive or import from the media room. And when you're all done doing that, you're going to click a button over here. It says to start making it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you how to take one that's a long video. So this one here is a long video. And we're going to remove the sound. So it doesn't interrupt you guys while we're training you here. So let's say we want to slice or split this section here. And I'm going to split this section here. And let's say we want this section to become the AI. So we want to use that section there. Now, here's what you have to do. I'm going to scroll in and show you this. But my arrow's green. So notice when I'm on the yellow, my arrow turns yellow. If I'm on the white, it turns black. And again, that allows me to stretch. So I want my arrow to be yellow. See that there? And then I want to stretch that all the way across. And I want to stretch it way over to that line of the video where we cut it. Right about there. Now you'll notice we got some brand new buttons here. We've got render preview, produce range. I want to produce the range because I want to produce this section. So I'm going to produce this section and then it's going to do its process and I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, name one. And then I'm going to say start. So now it's going to produce that section of that video and then it's going to place it in my media room is what it's going to do. So this is a, going to allow me to use the plugins now to apply to that one section of video. So when you're done producing the video, you'll notice it placed the word name one up here in our media room. We can just click off here or whatever. Now, what I want to do is I want to hit the delete key on this and I want to I want to basically remove and leave gap is what I want to do. So I want that gap gone. Because we're going to place our video here, our name one, into that spot. So now we've got it in the media room. I'm going to go up to where it says plugins. And then I'm going to run the AI style plugin. And you're going to pick whatever one you want. So let's pick uh, this one here. And then again, we're going to go down here and hit import. And I'm going to select import from media room. And there's our name one. Say OK. And that's it. Now it's going to actually, you see this here? How it's spinning? Mine went pretty quick. But depending on the, how big your video is, is how long that'll, that'll spin. Once you select, kind of just sit back and wait. Now it has another option here. It says keep the original color. And I can click that. And then it'll keep the original color. And I think keep original color looks a little bit better. But over here on the right, you'll see transform video. So 
all you do is click that and then it's going to go through and now transform the video into a work of art as Cyberlink says. And you'll notice it's going to take quite a while here to do that. Now you may, if it's a very large video, it's going to take a while to do this. So you're going to have to, you know, if you're going to do a big video, you're going to have to just go away and let your video do its thing is what you're going to do. But I'll come back as soon as this is done to save you some time. Okay, when you're all done and it's finished doing its thing, you'll see it's named the file as name one underscore zero, so it adds a zero to it. We're going to grab this, and I want to bring it down and put it in this section. So now that I've got it in that section here, I'll back up the playhead and I'll play it and you'll see how the video into their um, into their plugin. So there it goes there. So now it actually changed the trees and everything and I mean, like I said, the bigger the video, the more it's going to change. So you can take your videos and add a little bit of art to them or a little pizzazz. You can cut the video in the middle, produce it, and then add it from your timeline to make it a little easier. So if you're wondering how plugins worked, in this tutorial, you just learned how. Thanks for watching PowerDirector Tutorials. If you want to watch another video over here, you can see yourself in another tutorial. If you would like, subscribe and get more tutorials on PowerDirector. At any rate, guys, if you would, hit the like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.